So, uh, a lot of people are still complaining about Artie. You know, oh my god, fuck Artie. <sighs> you know. Um, a lot of these players probably weren't around in the beginning when there was a lot of Artie. Probably have never played Artie. Uh, Let's go. So, I'm going to pull out one of my old replays. This, this, this was yesterday. Um, you know, there's only one Artie on the other team, but the principle is sound. You know, the number of Arties increases, the more damage will, will get shaved off you over time, but uh, more or less with this technique, uh, barring any kind of physical cover from where the Artie likes to sit, you will be able to survive for longer than if you just sit still. Um, if you're not used to independent movement from your mouse and hand, you, you have to just concentrate on movement a bit, but on the map here, okay, on this map, Artie likes to sit on our side around here, and on their side, Artie likes to sit around here, or, hang on, their Artie likes to sit around, around here, or, or around here, you know, basically in this area, so if you were to use cover, you'd want to use these sides of the buildings, you know, here would be good cover, this would be good cover, you know, some of these hills can be used as cover. You know, on this side, you know, it's the reverse. You know, Artie likes to sit up in here, so you use, they use, you know, this side over here. You know, you can use these hills, you know, some rocks. Well, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. You know, not in cover, I decide to, uh, to YOLO, uh, you know, because I'm in, I'm in a babby tank in a tier 10 game. So I think, ah, well, I can't do anything anyway. So I'm just going to screw around. But knowing there's another Artie on the other side, I uh, I use some some hard proven uh, evasion tactics. Like like I said, I know their Artie is here, so you want to move. You want to move, you know, along that axis. You want them to blow their reticle when they're they're aiming at you. See, as you can see here. You know, I'm moving I'm moving forward and backward, which is there up and down more or less. But I'm also um, trying to make myself both unpredictable and so that they have to to move uh, their uh, their gun across the horizontal axis and blow their reticle. Uh, here comes here comes a dummy 50M. He's he's done now. He uh, I guess he saw me and got a little little bloodthirsty and uh, completely forgot about everyone else on my team. So he died. I mean, notice I still haven't gotten hit by Artie. I mean, I'm clearly lit. You know, the Artie has got to have contemplated it, but by just by moving like this, the Artie might have decided it's not worth it because it's it's too hard to aim. You know, I get I get uh, complaints sometimes from from other teams' Arties about my movement. Uh, sometimes they kill me. Sometimes they hurt me enough so that their teammates can kill me. But the bottom line is, I keep them preoccupied for a long period of time. And in fact, if I remember correctly, at this point in the game, I was quite pleased that Artie hadn't and decided to shoot at me yet. I was I was patting myself on the back about my successful evasion. There he is. He's he's finally decided, barring anything else to shoot at, he's gonna he's gonna take a few pot shots at me, and my movement has paid off. It's important it's important to move whenever you're not firing. You can use cruise control spacebar for this effect, or you can just use your hand. It doesn't matter. You know, but the important thing is the movement. Whenever, whenever you're not ready to fire, you have to be moving. Always. Sometimes even when you fire. See, like that long window was plenty of time for the Ardia to nail me, but I'm willing to bet he wasn't looking at me again. Now, if you play Artie, you'll realize this. You'll realize all the the behaviors that make a target. See, he decides to go for the the E5 instead because the E5 is just sitting there. You know, if you play Artie, you'll learn all the the undesirable uh, targets. You'll learn uh, things that make you mad, places you can't hit, places you like to sit. And when you play tanks that aren't artillery, you'll begin to learn. Um, how to move and, and use cover in such a manner that agitates the hell out of anybody playing artillery. Penetration. 
And this hull down is amazing on the low, by the way. This it's fantastic what they did to this tank. You know, you got side armor and the hull down makes the mantlet amazing. It's basically a 90 ton uh, STB one, I guess. I don't know. It's STB one of premium tanks. I'll put it that way, of of heavy premium tanks. But right now I'm not spotted, so I'm just trying to move up. I should be, yeah, should be spotted now. So I go back into my evasive pattern. Of emergency reverse and serpentine to uh, to help reduce. Because this thing actually has pretty good armor now. Which means splashes don't do much, you know. It's, I, it's, I think it's pretty equivalent to the, uh, the E100 and, and how the sides eat splash against most artillery pieces now. I mean, I've even been contemplating running a small liner because, like, the mid-tier to low-tier arty that you encounter with this vehicle uh, don't really have the average penetration needed to pen 100. Wow, that was a pretty BS bounce. And the 140 has decided to YOLO, I guess. I don't know. He's He's grown frustrated with his team and has decided he doesn't want to play anymore. But it's good, it's especially if you're in fragile tanks, if Artie drops around in your general location, he is aimed on that location. And due to how, how Artie aims, he's not going to want to move his reticle to another position as long as there's targets. So when Artie drops around, it's good to locate, I don't know, like 50 to 100 meters in a different direction, you know, on their horizontal axis, so they have to blow their reticle to get you there. Yeah, the moment you're unspotted, you, swat, you just want to book it into another direction. And if you don't know if you're unspotted, you got a serpentine. Or randomly changed direction. This whole time I've been alive, you know, Artie, if I'd been sitting still, Artie probably would have nailed me by now. But I'm not a desirable target. You know, and our teammates are in their base now. So Artie's going to be looking down there. Which means I'm more or less, I'm, I'm even more free to just hang out in the open. Now, if you want to get the, the, the a real impression of this, play already in like mid tiers when all the tanks are small and fast. It's it's a horrifying nightmare to get damage out, especially if you're in an arty with a bad uh, gun traverse. You know, because you constantly have to move your hull and whatnot. Like the. Uh, the GW Tiger, for example, when I had that, it was it was frustrating. Um, you you turret, but it's still not turning very fast. basically had to have ESB to play that tank well. Uh, you know, I mean, you couldn't really hit medium tanks with uh, with much reliability if they they knew what they were doing. I don't know, I think I wind up making a lot of spotting damage this game. Not so much actual damage, but my spotting damage is pretty good because they just more or less let me sit out here the whole game. See, even now, even now that I'm, it's this late in the game, I'm still trying to stay mobile when lit. We didn't even scratch them. Our main gun is damaged. It's working, but not very well. Especially now, now that I'm lower health, they're already, if they're already is not looking south, they're already maybe interested in shooting at me. I don't, I don't remember this game. It happened a while ago, and I don't. It probably doesn't shoot at me again for the rest of the game, to be honest, but.
but especially uh, heavy tanks that have decent uh, spaced armor, including tracks. Like the low has really fat tracks on it, and it has decent slide armor now. So it's it's a good in the open tank compared to most. See, Jimmy Panther had no problem hitting him. He was just sitting there. That's amazing what a little movement can do for your chances of survival.